This is an example of a UI coverage report in Cypress Cloud. And I just want to go over some highlights that you can see a lot more in our documentation, which I'll show you at the end. But first of all, what is this report measuring? It's looking at the coverage of your tests in terms of the actions available to users and whether your tests actually carry out those actions in the pipeline. So here on a page level, we can get individual reports and see what's tested and what's not tested in this application to this run that has 364 tests. So what I can do is come over and take a look at the personal page here. On the left hand side, we can see all the elements within this screen that are not tested and we can pin one and decide if we wanted to add coverage. If we do, we can use AI powered test generation and then take that over and add that to our suite. So here I chose a spec to add this to, and it's going to do exactly what it should based on how tests are supposed to look in that code base. And it's a good way to just create the coverage when you see something is missing. So what we're looking at here is really the um, overall report. And there's various details you can go into about links that haven't been tested and pages and things like that, but also then redundant coverage here where we can see some of these things might be tested too much and it could be more efficient to do something else. And a combined list of all the untested elements. That's one way to approach what UI coverage is doing. On the other hand, you can also see the changes over time. So here I'm comparing two runs, this one ending in 2.3 with this one ending in 8.4. And this is telling us a few things about what's changed in coverage between those two points. So first of all, the coverage has gone down 13% to 83% between these two runs. We can see there are some untested links that are new in here, and there's different reasons for those. So it actually goes fairly deep in terms of how you can understand what's changing in your application. This is a brand new page that didn't have a link before versus this one that's just an existing link that used to be tested and for some reason we don't test it now. Same on the element side, we can see elements where the coverage has gone away but it used to be covered. Or this element here that I added just for demo purposes. There's a lot in our documentation about this. There's strategies for everything you can do with UI coverage, and then details on all of the configuration and the various ways you can make elements conform to what you expect to be grouped together and what you think is important to test versus what you should remove as noise.